Hi, this is Ahmed from Seldom Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how can we update the ASA version to uh, 915 version. So in this video, I have an ASA firewall that have the version older than 915. I have the version 8.4. This is my current version of the ASA, and I have the current ASDM that, that is 6.4, which is old. And I just want to update the ASA firewall to higher version in this video. So, first of all, you have to make sure that you have a TFTP server that is running. You can use the Linux uh, Windows server or anything, anything that's supporting a TFTP service and is running. In this video, I have a local PC in my uh, that is close to my ASA. It is from the LAN network. This is the PC that I'm doing the Team Viewer on. Uh, also, you have to make sure that you ha that you have the right files from the Cisco. As you know, the files are not free, and you have to pick up in from Cisco and download them. Then you have to follow up the steps and move them to the ASA flash then configure the ASA and point ASA so that it load the new files the new ASA image and the new ASA ASDM image then I do, I do reboot to the ASA and check and verify the new version of the ASA so again this is the terminal of my ASA I'm doing show version I have the version 8.4 and I have the ASDM 6.4 that is running, right? So this is the computer, and this is the new version. I have installed it. I have the ASA 915, right? And I also want to update the ASDM from 6 version to the 7 version, right? And this is the TFTP client. I have installed it from the internet. It's going to be free. And it's called TFTP32. And you can install it anywhere, right? So uh, I have just run the TFTB client server, sorry, and I go to browse and inform it about my TFTB location, right? So I'm, I must be pointing the ASA version to the right files, that is the ISO and the ASDM files, right? So uh, I'm now in the terminal. I say copy. TFTP flash, right? So the operation from the TFTP server to internal flash of the ASA. I hit enter and now it asks me about my IP address. I have it locally 192.168.0.123. Hit enter and now it asks me about the file. I would like to move the first the ISO file the ASA file and make sure that you copy the full path right you cannot say the name without the bind binary file you just do uh, all the file location so make sure that the dot bin is included I hit right and hit enter so first of all I try to pin the host 103 uh, 123 then I say copy TFTP flash and I say remote host 1123 and the source file I hit enter and now it is loading the file into the ASA flash. I'm going to do the same thing for the ASDM image as well. So I have to wait until the process is getting finished. 
So here are the statistics on the file. It is almost finished. This is the second file, which is the ESDM. So I'm going to copy the full path. All right, the file has been copied, and now we'll do the same thing for the ASDM. So we'll copy TFTP, flash the same address, and I'm gonna choose the file that's called ASDM 721.bind. Enter, enter, and the process again. So here is the statistics copying the files from the TFTB server.
Edit it has been two process. Process that is copying the files from the TFTB, then writing the files to the disk, which is the flash, internal flash of the ASA. All right, so I have to do, I have the two files that is copied right now, so I have to inform the ASA and point the two files to be run in the next boot. So if I check to run ASDM, I have the old version that's pointing to the old image. If I check to run boot, and it's booting to the old ASA as well. So I go to conf t and say ASDM image disk 0 slash asdm 721.bin and the same thing boot system this is for the ISO file disk 0 asa asa I'm sorry I think we have to say boot system flash flash and then we choose ASA 9 line 5 and enter and now I say show run boot it's booting from two files so I remove the first one copy and say no and again for the ISO file It's booting from 915. So I hit right. And again, this is the current version 8.4 with the device manager 7.2. So now I have to say reload, no confirm, and try to connect to the ASA after the rebooting and make sure that I have the ASA version 9 so I'm gonna pause the video right now and come back when the ASA finish loading and now we have the connection back so uh, connect the SSH and I say show version and here we have 9 Point 0.1 for the ASA and the same thing for the ASDM that has been upgraded so if I try to connect to the ASDM as you see it reflected the 7.2 so I've tried to connect to the ASDM from the local computer I'm gonna hit continue
and this is the ASA version and this is the ASDM version and I have the model ASA 5505 I hope this video has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing if you like my video kindly subscribe like thank you for viewing thank you so much